Put them to, that's grandma sugar. <laughs> Girl, they, my family got the diabetes and I don't want to get them. So I'm just trying to do the best I can. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to do the best I can. Because I want this coffee every morning. Yes, honey. Tomorrow's Jonathan's 27th birthday, honey. I'm getting old, okay? Child. I remember going to jail when I was 27, too. I was about 27 when I went to jail. But straightened up and slide right. <clears throat> he better straighten up and fly right. This better be it, Lord Jesus. My daughter turned 27 this year. Girl, ain't they tough? Woo, this is a tough year. I mean, me and my sisters was bad up until we was like 21. You know what I'm saying? Talk to our parents and this 27 and these 30s is late. Girl, I'm not fixing this hair until I get ready to go. Mrs. Tuffle said fix it too, but I think it looked cute messed up. You know they only put me in the blogs if my strategies to this. You gotta have it as possible. Which are hanging out. <laughs> well, at least she admits she's cloud chasing by just saying that. My when your hair's messed up, 13. that's when they put you in the vlogs and the blogs. Girl, you drinking coffee too? Thirteen is a rough age, honey. I get uh, Krishan's uh, disrespect to a certain degree with uh, Carlissa. They're all trying to um, clout chase. Um, they get it from obviously Blueface. He is the founder and chief of clout chasing for a bag. He got Krishan Rock doing it and his whole entire family doing it. And I think I, I didn't think it was going to get like this because he was locked up. But I think because he's locked up, it's going to get worse. Him being gone, we're going to see who the real villains are in the clout chasing and causing confusion for no reason. Now, what Krishan Rock said out of her mouth was out of place, out of line. And if uh, Clarissa had said something about her mother, like being on the on the ooh-wee, she would have been whooping on her. You know what I'm saying? She would have been taking a lift or getting in a Bentley, and she would have went over there and, um, and, and made sense out of her. She would have gave her a two-piece and a biscuit. But it's okay for her to say, you know, unappropriate things um that she wish or, or, or hopes that happens to blueface's mother just because she's back with blueface and she knows that blueface doesn't respect the mother i don't care what he don't respect if you as a woman have respect for yourself and it's bad enough blueface don't respect you you give his mother the respect that you should not because it's his mother but because she's another woman you know, Krishan, she's definitely in her feelings because I really think that Krishan, I get this feeling that Krishan does not like Clarissa, not only because of how she treats um, Jonathan, a.k.a. Blueface, but she feels like she's purposely from a distance trying Krishan in her patience. And she seems, and I and I can see it, if, if Krishan feels this way, I, I can actually say it, you might be right i don't know i don't really know this lady personally i just know her from her behaviors on social media it's like she's trying to be in competition like you post 30 times a day i'm gonna post 30 times a day you say some fly subliminal stuff from over there i'm gonna say some fly sub subliminal stuff over here it's like krishan is old enough to be your daughter you are a whole grown woman with kids even older than Krishan Rock. If you're trying to say anything or do anything to Krishan, it's to guide her. Because there was no guidance with her mother and father. Krishan's mother and father. But to try to be in competition or one-up Krishan is not the way you're going to be able to get close with your grandson or your son. It's going to keep conflict. But I think they all want conflict because drama leads the clout clout leads to a bag and it's sad his favorite cake 
flavor is. Who knows what kind of cake we're going to have tomorrow, cake and ice cream. If you know my kids' favorite cake, which I bet you know they don't. Mm. <laughs> Veronica said, girl, get Veronica Taylor said, get off my hair. Let's talk about this birthday tomorrow. We're going to have some cake and ice cream. You know how we do. Put 27 candles on this cake. I'm going to let y'all blow them out. And he ain't going to never forget this birthday for the rest of his life. Because, child, you don't forget the birthdays that you didn't get to celebrate. But knowing him, he probably going to celebrate it in there with some cup of noodles. He's going to put some candles on his cup of noodles. I feel like I can't see what y'all saying. German chocolate. That's Andre's cake. Ooh. Somebody know Andre's favorite cake. That's Andre's favorite cake. Jonathan's favorite cake is chocolate with marble fudge. Bet they didn't know that though. You see what I'm saying? I be knowing what to ask people when they mess with my kids. She kills me with this, my kids. Girl, yeah, he with the camera. But she's not really thinking about how embarrassing she is as a mother. Some of the stuff she says and does prior to Blueface going to jail. And I, he's a grown man, so ain't nobody trying to take his side and go against the grain with his mother. But you don't act like a mother sometimes. And then you want to get respect from your kids, but you're acting like you're their friends. Or one of these 304s. Candles and the noodles. Black said we was going to go up there pretty soon, so we're going to see. Aquarius, yes, girl, he barely made it. He still got that nut Capricorn in him, though. That's why he act like that. I should have told that doctor um, to have that C-section a few more days in. Because a Capricorn Aquarius mixed together, honey. We, we are members of Valencia Christian Center, but they moved. So when they moved, I haven't picked another church yet. But we are members since they were children at Valencia Christian Center. Um, what's the church we go to? The substitute church we go to, y'all, in Santa Clarita. I can't tell y'all. Y'all might pull up. Just in case Jaden start taking her kids to church there again, I don't want y'all to be pulling up. But Valencia Christian Center is where um, they remember that. Jaden, John, Callie, Dre's church was um, New Birth where he got baptized at. Now, you know y'all sweet and humble, but y'all a little crazy too. Y'all a little bit crazy. She's probably going to have her own party with her kids, hopefully. She's going to have hopefully have her own party with her kids. Um, we will be shooting six out tomorrow for the birthday party. So we plan to all get together because, you know, Jonathan is our household baby. Not just celebrity, but he's our household baby. So he's Jonathan is everybody's baby in the house. Okay. That's why he's such when he wants to be. Um, if you the baby, you know. Jail for violation of probation. Capricorns are bipolar. I'm okay with Jaden. I didn't say that. I did not say that. Don't get my words twisted up now. I did not say I was okay. I did not say that. Do us Capricorns. <laughs> My baby daddy a Capricorn. He do everything but leave. <laughs> My day just getting started. My husband got in a little late last night. So we had a little nightcap and um, 
I'm supposed to be getting dressed because he's up there getting dressed. But, you know, I had to come down here and get my coffee and talk to y'all. Because he ain't, he off for the next two days. So I ain't going to be able to talk to y'all that much. So I got to squeeze y'all in when I can. You'll be able to talk to us. Sure You'll squeeze it in. Tune in tomorrow. Is tomorrow Sunday? <laughs> no, Sunday. Um, Because I did humble myself. Because, you know, I want to cuss them, one of them, couple of them baby daddies out. I humbled myself for my child. So you can humble yourself when you need to for your children. Even when they grown. Because I wanted to be like. Is my husband a Sagittarius? No, my husband is a Taurus. The bull. The link, the link is in my bio. It's only $5.99 a month. My episodes is from four from anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Um I only missed one Sunday, even with um, going into the next episode. What I don't get is when Blueface gets mad that his mouth is mother's up here cloud chasing. She's advertising what she has built. Yeah, she got her, you know, establishment through her, her son being a rapper. But, you know, who cares? She's trying to get her own bag. And if you listen to her, She's just trying to advertise herself. She's trying to get money. She's trying to get the bag. She might be able to show them how to get the bag. They got the bag now, a little bit of the bag, Krishan Rock and Blueface. But she might surpass these little kids. And they might have to ask her for a few tips. Oh, we only missed one Sunday, and that was because we had to fly out to Ohio. So I've been pretty consistent blowing the bag, making sure that y'all got good quality content every Sunday. Real life family, while I figure out how to get my family back on track. I've been sharing everything. They be like, no, we can't share that. I'd be like, but I was a- You ain't never had your family on track to begin with. Don't let your son go to jail for you to now say, because he's in jail, you want to try to get your family back on track. If they was on track, he wouldn't have fell off track. He wouldn't be where he's at. And none of your kids would be coming out of their mouth at all to you the way they do. They're not your friends. They're your kids. They should respect you. And I was this and I was that. We're going to share everything so we can get it all out on the table. Cancer gang. I don't got no cancers. I don't know no cancer. So Callie is a Taurus, so I know them well. Dre is an Aries, so I know them well. Callie Daddy is an Aries, so I know them well. And John is a Capricorn Aquarius, and I am literally a Virgo Leo. So I know all, all the strong signs. No Geminis. I got four sisters that's Geminis. Y'all. Oh. Yes, honey, them that Aries boy. That's 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 our uh <laughs> that's that's the person who controls our uh our war button in this house. That's our nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, Dre. <laughs> <coughs> um I'm two signs because people say that you know when you're on the cusp, like my birthday is August 22nd, so they say you a Virgo Leo. That means and my husband is a Gemini Taurus, I mean, a um, Gemini Taurus on May 20th. And I know he both. Because <clears throat> I know them Tauruses get a little lazy, but my husband don't got a lazy bone in his body. Now, he, 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 he talk a little hard to me sometimes, but I'm used to that. You know what I'm saying? He talk a little harsh sometimes, but he don't got a lazy bone in his body, honey. He'll cut the grass clean the house and still give me okay now them tauruses i know they get a little lazy yes y'all is tauruses is lazy y'all know y'all house is tore up from the floor right now y'all only clean up when company coming over now she talking about somebody house being dirty but be the first one to talk about her own kid 
kept a nasty house. We said kept because he's not here now. Blueface kept a nasty house, and he was referring when he was with Jaden and when he was with Krishan. They all three was nasty. And how you got a son that you raised and he nasty like that. Usually some of the traits of what the upbringing was like, you know, um, the kid attaches on to. And if 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 a, a woman or a man, they grow up to be an adult and they like designer clothes and nice things, or even if they can't afford to have nice things, they like to respect what they have in their house or apartment. They keep it clean. You feel what I'm saying? But you even said on social media about your own kid that he's nasty. And the house that they lived in was filthy. So you don't you ain't got no room to be talking about somebody's house being filthy. Because Jonathan probably lived in a few filthy houses that you may have had. For him to grow up as a grown man and to want to be with a woman and not make her clean up, even if he's lazy. My son's birthday is May 20. He real stubborn. Girl, I didn't know. I didn't think I was going to make it past three years. But I can say they're pretty loyal people. Like, I don't care how lazy they are. Taurus are pretty la- pretty loyal people. <clears throat> Callie is pretty. I done checked the drawers. I done checked the phone. You know, the first three years when you get with them. I done checked everything, honey. I've been in looking in the drawers. I've been looking on the t-shirts for the lipstick. I ain't found one mistake in him other than he likes to work too much and try to make too much money. Taurus are the loyalists. Yes, I am definitely, girl, because I'm telling you, Callie will pull up on a monster, okay? She will fight 10 dogs and a bear about me. And I could have cut, but it don't get no more loyal than a Leo. Girl, yeah, you know I done been in the drawers. You got to see if they've been there, if they got excited somewhere. Girl, this was back when I, you know, when you first start dating. You ain't got to be, if you're going to be the police after the third, just go. <laughs> you only supposed to be the police while you making your decision to stay or go. Once you done made a decision to stay and you still looking and lurking, baby, you just, you are, you just are going to be a miserable, you know what, but them three years, baby, you better be on your FBI. Okay. You check the t-shirt up here on the collar. You check the draws. You got to check the draws on both sides because real quick, I'm going to teach y'all how to get a husband one day. That's what I might do on my OnlyFans for y'all. I'm going to teach y'all how to, y'all not doing it right. I'm loyal to my friends. I'm loyal to everybody. I ain't never, I have never ever crossed one of my friends about a guy. I ain't never talked to one of my friends, guys on the low. Like I just, and maybe my mama wouldn't know. I just learned like that. Good, and stop lying. Like, <laughs> my whole life. And all three of them she married. So I, I maybe I just wasn't raised like that. Yeah, we don't do stuff like that. I ain't never even seen my sisters do no weird stuff like that loyal i don't know about like the relationship or the men i like i've never cheated on nobody neither i ain't never cheated on mr stafford neither never once good stop lying not a good you ain't doing right you ain't doing right you ain't doing right leave them alone (laughs) leo Leo man now it ain't signs don't determine whether a man you this how you know this i'm gonna help y'all out right quick everybody stay tuned y'all ready if you want to know if a man going to hit you back, if he got a, a older sister or a younger sister that could beat him up when he was a child, they got syndrome from their sister. So my, my husband have an older sister that used to work him, okay? Like, he ain't getting nothing off. So I already know going in, I use my, I use my common senses. I do not mess with him. I don't like, I don't do none of that. Now, everybody else I done swung on. You know, they ain't had no sister. They ain't believe in hitting in women. My husband gonna hit me back. I, I could just feel it. Like, I tried one time and he put his arm out. And from that day forward, I didn't try to. When they got a sister that his sister used to work him, they have them flashbacks when that sister used to beat that. <laughs> It ain't what sign gonna hit you. If they got a sister that used to beat them, (laughs) 
they is all they mind know is fight or flight. Okay. And my my husband got a, a older sister, like seven years older than him. So I don't I don't even try. Shout out to her. I know my hair messed up. It's a wig. I slept on it. I crept on it. I sucked on it. I, you know what I'm saying? I had a whole, I had a whole night on it. It ain't too bad for what I did though. <laughs> Get me a new car. I wasn't here working on me a new car. Too much information, sis. Too much information. Sister, girl, cousin, somebody got brothers. They know. Like, you just can't hit. Like, <laughs> they're going to they, they gonna have a flashback. Because, boy, the way Callie used to beat on John, honey, I know he have a flashback. Don't hit him. Do not hit. Do not hit John. Callie used to wet it. What? Girl, she would have him in the closet like, Mama! Mama! I run in there, all I can see is my baby's legs just dangling. Her just, oh, oh, like, what are you doing? You never did lie, honey. Because now he's tearing y'all up. He might not be doing it physical. Well, he, who knows? He getting other people to tear y'all up. But he might not be doing it physically, but he's sure enough doing it mentally. Tearing y'all's bleep bleeps up. She knew what she was doing in there. Good morning, girl. We just ain't here talking about men's and they um signs, what to watch out for. This is true. A lot of men grew up fighting, fighting older sisters, seeing nothing wrong with it because it was normal. Yeah, that's sibling rivalry, honey. Like my baby brothers was little, so we didn't, they didn't have too much drama with no big sisters. But if you got a sister in the house, I got some nephews that's going to pack too because I got some nieces, honey. <laughs> one, of my, one of my nieces and nephews got kicked out of school for her giving it to him. So some of you women know. Love you too, Maya. I'm with the Taurus and I regret it. And I regret it? Really? Is he lazy? I was on a block mission today. They on there trying to make up an excuse why I should involve myself with somebody that done wished ill will on my whole life. Girl, I blocked every single and they mama and they grandmama too. Blickety, 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 block. And siblings that ain't never got not got into it in their house. If you and your siblings ain't never got into it, let us know. That's a good question. If you ain't had to rock your siblings, let us know. Don't don't try to um rem be reminiscing with us. Now that Blueface is gone, you should have did the right thing way before jail time. Goodbye. She up here in her feelings now. I just feel the vibe. She up in her feelings. Girl, that, they be taking my stuff too personal. Like, girl, relax. Jonathan too, y'all. Jonathan is a comedian. Like, I told him that's what he was supposed to do. When he first was arguing with that one comedian, I knew it was just because he was jealous. He really wanted to be a comedian, not a rapper. Like, my kids is literally funny. Like, the house was literally, that's probably why they was fighting. The house, even when I met my husband, he was like, them some. So I wanted to tell you guys, I literally was watching Love and Hip Hop because now that I'm working on this reality TV show for my family, I was, I never really watched reality shows before, like ever. I really never watched it. And now I'm watching Love and Hip Hop and I'm like, this is why John used to call me Mama D. Like, I can't believe how much me and Mama D have in common. I can't believe y'all didn't ride her the way y'all be riding me. She is a little bit worse than me. Okay, I almost couldn't take Mama D as my mother-in-law. That had me crying the other day. <laughs> Mama D, okay. Y'all go watch Love and Hip Hop like the first episode. I was crying. She don't need to apologize. I just need her to stay over there. I'm scared of stuff like that. I don't. I don't do the Erica Badu's. I don't do the. I don't do the. I don't do that stuff. That's too much praying. I gotta be talking in tongues when I get done with you. When you go home, putting oil all over my house when you leave. I can't do all that. That's too much work for me. <laughs> 